What up, Melvin7 here, and today we've got another League Squad Builder Challenge. Finally, we've got a really, really good player, and that's obviously Lacazette. We've got League 1, all 20 teams. Literally, I'm just showing you in the background how I did it. Obviously, it's a very self-explanatory thing, but it's also very costly. I think, all in all, I spent about 300k. Now, you do get a lot of rewards back. So easily I would have got 100k back just from the players, all the packs and everything. That's easy because uh, I do get two pretty good items. One of them is there. I know it's only a discard in form, but it might come useful in useful in later score building challenges. But um, yeah, I probably recouped about 100k. So it cost me, when you factor that in, 300k minus 100k. So 200k for this Lacazette card. Were he on the market? Would I pay that? Yes, I would. For his stats, they are incredible. 88 pace, 88 shooting, I think it's 86 dribbling and 83 passing or something and 82 physical. Like, he really, really does look an exceptional card. So, uh, yeah, definitely think it's worth it. We're doing the PSG team here. Um, literally, I was just doing it throughout the day. Obviously, I'll show you the, well, I'll show you the packs individually, but I didn't really know how to do this video because I didn't want it to drag on too long. And um, yeah, I was opening the packs, I was in a Skype call, so it's kind of a bit mismatched, I suppose. Um, but yeah, obviously a lot of the players are getting price fixed. The gold ones are relatively cheap for most teams. Uh, I think it's only, you know, some of the PSG players that you might have to get, like Lucas, I think he's 5, 6k. There's occasionally another gold player that's getting price fixed in a random team. But uh, the silvers are obviously the ones you have to watch out for. So what you've got to do, because there's only 95 chemistry that you need in each of these teams, you do need 11 players in every single one, though. There's not like the uh, MLS or the Liga Nos, where sometimes you only need three or four players from that thing. Um, yeah, uh, you need literally 11 from every single team. So in total, it's 220 cards, if you put it into perspective. I had around about half in my club, so I had to buy 110. And as I say, I probably spent 330, uh, sorry, around 300k. Um, but yeah, what you want to do with 95 chemistry is you want to try and literally get it to 95 chemistry. There's no point getting 100 because you don't need it. So literally try and bring it down. If you're if you've got 10 players on 100 chemistry and you're about to buy another player who, you know, is in the right position, don't. Just buy the cheapest version of any player in a position and then put him in that position. For example, if you've got a right back who's getting price fixed at 10k, you've got 10 players and all you need is one more player, just get like a bronze goalkeeper. Stick him in at right back and he'll get the one or two chemistry points and it'll keep you to like 96 instead of 100. So... You just have to be smart. I think in each team, um, you can get two or three players out of position, depending how far out of position they are, before the chemistry will drop under 95. So, yeah, you just have to balance it. On average, per team, because I spent around 300k, there's 20 teams, so it's literally around about 15k per team. 20 teams, yeah, that's right, yeah, 15k per team. On average, some teams cost a lot more, some teams cost a lot less. For example, I think it's Saint Etienne and um, I think it's not Gwen Gump, it's um, Nice, I think. Those two are pretty che cheap, the Saint Etienne and the Nice uh, ones, because they're mostly all discard gold players that everyone keeps packing, so they go for a thousand absolute max. So you can probably get both of those teams done if you bid. For around 5-6k but then there's ones like the Toulouse one is oh my god it's so bad in terms of how much you have to spend um I think there's other ones like the uh the SCCN one um the the very first one beginning with A the Digion one is pretty annoying like the Angers one you can get I think half the team gold no problem but then the entire defense is silver so they're obviously getting price fixed so yeah, I mean, in the long run, it's there forever. So I've rushed it for YouTube and because the card looks fantastic. Like, I will do the Pro League one because you do get a 100k pack. And to be fair, I just want to collect every single card. And there's only 16 teams, even though there, you know, there's a lot of silvers. I don't think it's going to come to anywhere near 300k. But I'll be a bit more patient with that one. It probably won't come out for a while. And, uh, yeah, literally, I'm just showing you in the background, like, you can see the rewards I got, you can see uh, how I've actually, you know, built the squad if you want to pause it, but I, there's not really any point. We actually get a 15k pack in a free 
uh, sorry, in a 7.5k pack, which is uh, rare. We don't get anything from it, unfortunately, but um, yeah, there's that. But as I say, I, uh, that Lacazette card, it just was so incredible, but it's there for the entire year. It looks as though they're literally going to do every single league throughout the year. And um, yeah, what I would do, I think the best time, if you want to do this relatively early, if you can't be asked to wait until near the end of FIFA, best time to do it for me, uh, well, not for me, I mean for you guys, would be... Black Friday, um, also Foot United, uh, that's coming soon, uh, and Black Friday, Cyber Monday, when people will be heavily investing into packs, and there might be some special silver, special bronzes, um, so these cards will be packed a bit more, people will want coins, so they'll get rid of things that they've invested, so that's probably the best time to pick it up in November, December time because that'll be a market crash and it'll be interesting to see if squad builder challenge players hold their value um, But yeah, if you really want to do it early But if not if you just want to patiently wait, but you really want it um, as I say like it's there for the entire year so um, Eventually these players will drop. I mean league one is a desirable league But you'll be surprised when you actually do this and do all 20 teams how many silvers there actually are in this league like there's a lot of golds, of course there's a lot of golds, but there is so many silvers that you need for, um, I, well I wouldn't say lesser teams, but certainly lesser known teams, and uh, yeah, um, I'm not sure if it's shown, but we did actually get two informs, you saw one um, at the start, but apart from that, we didn't really get anything in the packs, I think we got Rua Patricio 84 rated, but as I say, in total, if I were to sell every single thing, it would be around about 100k, so 200k for this Lacazette card. Um, yeah, I'm going to use him in this week's foot champions, and <laughs> there's uh, Rua Patricio there, I think, but uh, yeah, I'm going to use it in this week's foot, uh, foot, oh my god, I just said that, didn't I, wow, foot champions. Um, the weekend league gonna try and build a squad around him because he, he just looks absolutely magnificent I might do a player review if people do want to do that but um yeah as I say there's certain teams that are just easy and certain that aren't like this one was relatively easy the team that I've just done because there was only a couple of silvers a couple of bronzes again Nice one of the easiest ones I only needed to get one silver uh, because they have an abundance of gold Marseille was quite easy as well um, wasn't too difficult. I think that cost around 10 to 12k. I'm literally just looking on screen now just to see this one However, this is one of the ones I was on about that cost so much SM Cian because there's just so many silvers that you need some of them are getting price fixed and the worst one of the lot The very very worst is Toulouse because so many of them are extinct I think the right mids extinct the left backs extinct the right backs extinct you can see me getting Lacazette there um, I've sped it up, but you'll see at the end of the video anyway the card and uh, obviously you get 30,000 as well um, Which is a little bit of a bonus the the packs range you can I think some you get silver uh, Players packs there's some you get 7.5 K packs some you get 15 K packs uh, 25 K player packs and the only one that you get a prime pack is the PSG um, Which I think is where I got the inform actually the PSG one gives you 45 K prime pack um, I did get a couple of um, French players back that I can obviously link well league one players that I can just sell because I don't need them anymore and uh, obviously they're going for a premium like there that Morange guy left back you know he's silver he's gonna be used he's gonna be bought so I'm hoping to get five six K for him maybe but overall I wasn't too lucky in the rewards, but I, that's not the reason I did it. I literally did it for that Lacazette card, and because I'm doing every squad builder challenge there is. I think this is number 29 already, and uh, I'll do the Pro League one, I'll get round to it, but probably after this weekend, because foot champions, you know, the absolute massive grind that you've got to do. So, uh, yeah, here's the last team now that I've done. I've slowed it down on uh, screen, and uh, yeah, I'm just flitting through... I mean, you can briefly see what I've paid, but SC Bastia, which is another annoying one, but there we go. All done, League One completed, lack is it, 30,000 coins, and uh, yeah, I'm very happy with that. So hopefully you have enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, and yeah, peace.